Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. Uh, now, where am I now versus where I was before? I don't know. I mean, let me just look. I don't remember where we were before. Oh, you're gonna see I had an active run. I've been doing a little, uh, yeah, I wanna erase my existing run. I was doing a little research here. I'll tell you about it once I begin the run. I don't remember where we were last time. I think we might be at the same point, which is Covenant rank 18. I mean, we might have been on 16 last time. 17 adds a dead weight, 18 adds merchant goods, cost 20% more. No, we were on 17 last time, weren't we? No, I've only, I only won one last night, and I haven't played much today. But it is time for a Stygian run. Let's do it. So I've been doing, I've been doing a little research here uh, in my free time. Instead of trying to grind out up to 25, I've been uh, learning. I'll tell you what I've been learning. And we're against Spell Devour. I think the game is telling me I should start Frostbite, which I'm not going to say no to. Yeah, we'll take Sweep Spell Weakness and then maybe down the road we get Frostbite. I'm happy with that start. So we're Stygian Hellhorned, a pretty good one. Rage does not decay on friendly units. We're looking at, we're going Frostbite, so I don't really think I'm, although I do have two Rage Imps, so I could take this and make decent use of it. 15 damage on the Pyre though. Let's try this. Let's try Collection of Tales. So what was I doing my research on? I was doing some research to learn how these spawns work. What I have determined after doing a few different runs and trying a bunch of different things is that I am ready to say with about 90% certainty you will always see... Like, you can tell the exact combat you're going to face based on what you see in this position. This one, so what this is going to look like, I will tell you, this is going to be clergyman. It, like, this is only clergyman. All we're going to face is clergyman, and he's going to spawn with a clergyman. I'm like, I'm like 80% sure of that at this point. Although I haven't seen this one, I did a bunch of different runs to learn the different patterns, just on the first one to get an idea of how it seeds and things like that. Uh, I think we are going to take the Mark of Invasion because we are Stygian Hellhorned, which means we have a ton of direct damage. So our first wave here is going to be four clergymen, or it might be three. Three or four? It is four. Hmm. Lots of, uh, lots of nothing is what I meant to say. We have a lot of nothing. No targeted damage whatsoever. It's okay. Uh, I am okay with just eating this nine. I'll be honest with you. And then five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It takes two hits here. You take one hit. So I can play it like this. And that's acceptable. To me. And then this wave should be, I think, three clergymen? No, it's oh it's five clergymen. I knew it went up or down by one, I couldn't remember how it goes, so it goes four, five, and then boss. We'll get a brief respite and then the boss. Uh so we can only we can only do one or the other. I can't kill this collector, unfortunately. With this draw. I mean I can, but I'll lose Tethys and then we'll just lose. Although we might just lose. Nah. I won't lose, but I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Although, keeping Tethys alive, how important is it? Uh, Tethys is only an 11 damage sweep. Hey, you know what? Let's just, let's go with that. Let's see what happens. If I just take an irrecoverable amount of damage, I'll restart. I always get the respite on the third floor here. Or on the third round, I mean. And we're not, like, the, the good thing about the clergyman is they don't do a whole lot of damage. I probably should have set up third floor, now that I think back about it. Setting up second floor was a mistake. Uh... Let's do it like this. I haven't drawn my totem yet, which is a little sad. Man, he spawns with two. Understandable. I think I think I'm ready to not necessarily like tell you exactly how it goes, but like I have a I'm starting to get a pretty good grasp on how these are built out, how these combats are built out. I have ten. So if I put down another train steward, what happens? Let's let's look at it. This one dies and he takes... They they die, like they both die in the first round. So there's no reason not to just hit here for this. And we take five, four, five. The invasion mark, it was a bit of a uh, gamble. Right, I'm taking 14 damage and we'll see how much more to get a bunch of... We're getting an extra 75 gold for the damage I take. But I missed the... No, I got the collector, right? I let Tethys die to get that collector kill. Ah, order. This guy should be in front. It's okay, I take I take a little extra damage for that mistake, but yeah, I, I take five extra damage. But yeah, I took what? So realistically there, I could have gotten away 
without I could have gotten out of it for 14 damage for 75 gold. Is it worth it? Eh, it's close. Give me one moment. I need to change out my headphone battery. Please hold. I will be with you momentarily. This is something I should have definitely remembered to do, however, forgot. There we go. But yeah, essentially, I've been I'm working on compiling a list of all the enemies in the game and classifying them as tank damage or healer. And you know, there's probably like an extra classification there for disruption because the like the units that add the curses into your deck and things like that. But one step at a time. But I think that what I've what I'm learning is just that you can pretty much like being able to tell what's going to spawn based on the start screen is really important. Mostly it's important for I'm going left here. Maybe I should have gone right for the shark attempt. However, I really like just grabbing a mer Merchant of Steel out the gate and giving our unit some buffs here. Something like this, probably. Make him into a 25-25? Sure, it's cheap. But mostly it's important for learning the bosses. If the bosses have a very specific spawn, then it'll be good to know that. And it's just going to take a lot of me playing and like marking down what boss type spawns what enemies in what order and seeing if there's a pattern. Because so it seems to me in the first combat, what typically the, the typically the way it goes is, so it, here's here's my hypothesis because I think the second one is the same. I think that the first combat is going to be this overcharged apprentice and this trusted priest. Second round is going to be an overcharged apprentice and some damage dealer, probably either a clergyman or two or the five one, probably the five one. And then third combat or third round is a pass, and then fourth round the boss spawns with a priest. We'll see if I'm right. I think, and it's possible I could be wrong, like entirely wrong. Uh, it's a little more difficult than I expected. There is one extra enemy because this is the second floor. However, not too far off, I would say. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been kind of sitting here doing like the first round over and over again and seeing what the combat looks like over and over. Mostly, I've been trying. I'm, I should. I'm gonna work up to doing all the bosses. Is my plan, and see like, oh yeah. So like, with this iterate, like if this this type of uh, what's his name, Daedalus always spawns the haste enemy, things like that. I'm try and learn because I've learned how many rounds most of the early combats have. I haven't been paying attention to the later stuff, but. I may as well. Okay, and he spawns with a foot soldier as well. Interesting. I'm learning it a little bit. I, I, my hypothesis is essentially that the, the enemies are broken up into different types. Like, the, there's a tank, a DPS, and a healer type of enemy. And... Uh, you know, and like, maybe a support type. Maybe, maybe instead of healer, I should call it support. Probably. And with them being broken up into those different types, I can figure out, w w to a certain degree of certainty, what type, what enemies are going to spawn when. What Daedalus is this? Because I've, I've been very focused on the like events and the overworld, but I feel like there's a lot to learn within the game as well. Oh, we got Titan Sentry. I'm not going to say that this run is a victory, however, you know. I will take advanced prototype. It's a good enough relic. Like, it's fine. I'm not gonna all in train steward or anything like that. And give him something and then have him get. I'll take it back later. Like, I might give him. I'm gonna give him Titan's Tooth. And he'll give it back in like two floors, I think, fully upgraded. We'll see if it's worth it. A few times I've done that, it's been bad overall, like I gave him an important spell, but I don't think Titan's Tooth should be that important. So this is Explosive Sigil. The last time I fought this, it was four clergymen in the first floor, and he put a bomb on the bottom, so let's see how that compares to this time. Three clergymen. Yeah, okay. So I think you might be able to tell which Daedalus type you're facing based on the earlier enemies, maybe? I'm not sure. But I think that the bomb is placed randomly. I think is what I'm ready to say about that part, at least. 
don't necessarily want to set up on this floor, but also don't want to set up in front of this explosive, you feel me? And there, there's no collector on Daedalus. So I think we want to set up top floor, right? Because these clergymen will run out of attack. There's no great reason for me not to. Alternatively, I could set up on the... You know what I should have done? I should have set up like this. This is how I should have played it. Except instead of... I, I, this wasn't right either. Oh well. I should have set up... Okay, and then Forge Disciple. Okay. So I don't think he'll spawn a haste unit. I think this is essentially going to be clergyman and the tank, which is the Forge Disciple. I'm starting, I'm starting to get a pattern here. I'm starting to get a feel for it. I feel like what, what I'm think what I'm doing is I'm just like taking down every combat, putting it into a spreadsheet, and then seeing what I can gauge from that. This combat, by the way, lasts six rounds. That I'm certain of. I've done, I've done the numbers on this one a few times. He, this is six rounds of combat. So that's round three. This is round four, it's all the clergymen. Okay, so yeah, this this type, like this Daedalus type seems to spawn hyper aggression, like one health units. Might not have to be clergymen, it might, it might be able to be the other guys. And by the other guys, I mean the, what are they called? The five ones, the foot soldiers. That's what I'm thinking of there. But I'm, I'm learning it, I'm picking it up and it'll help to like it, it'll help a lot if I can put together. Basically, I'm planning on putting together a big spreadsheet of this. Now, I've said this with Ratropolis a lot, where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this cool thing. And then after this round... Oh, there is a healer in this. Never mind. After this round is the final round. That is what I have learned. Did you die? It gets two damage in. Am I willing to take that two damage? Mmm. Nah. Yeah, nah, I shouldn't take that two damage. Then this will be the final round. And he on his final round, no matter what type he is, he always spawns a Disciple Protector. Of that I am certain as well. I'll put another Train Steward down, get the spell weakness flowing. My plan for this is to just draw Hornbreak, which I'm not sure if I will or not. I think I already drew it, but we'll see. Did I already draw it? I did not. It is in here. We got a 1 in 3. No, wait, what? Where's my Hornbreak? Am I insane? Oh, I, I, I did. Okay. I did already draw it. I'm just blind. No big deal. But yeah, once I once I put together enough data on this, I'll probably put this up somewhere. Uh, you know, I've said that about the Retropolis guide, but... This one I probably actually will, because I'm just putting all of the data into a spreadsheet. So I can, it'll be pretty easy for me to get it out to you. And I'll figure something out with that later. But yeah, that's what I've been working on with Monster Train lately. Instead of just grinding out Covenant, I've been doing that. It's fun, too. It's fun to try and, like, put... It's like taking in a bunch of data and then putting in, putting it into a pattern. Trying to discern a pattern, I should say. Ancient Synergy, I've still never taken this. Run an immunity equal to 2 times the number of spells in your deck times 3. So that's 26 times 3. Imagine if I put this on Spell Weakness, right? But I'm going Frostbite. I'm not going Spell Weakness. I still have not had a good Spell Weakness set up. Uh, I almost want to take... No, I almost want to take Horned Warrior here. I think I will. I'm going to try a little a little something different here. And we're going to check which foul it is. It is... This is the one that grants Rage Multi-Attack. And in this deck, I think I just want one more space. That's what I'm going to go for here. By the way, let me know in the comments on this one. I've been... I pose this question on my stream, but now that Super Ultra is a permanent option, I'm used to it. But do you want me to slow the game down? Would you like me to turn it down just to like Ultra or even slower? Because I have no problem doing that. I just I set it on Super Ultra because I barely look at it anymore. Ah shit, we didn't get we didn't get Frostbite on attack. Maybe I am going Spell Weakness after all. No no Frostbite on Tethys's attack is just a uh, bad sign. We're gonna get rid of a torch and a thrall. Actually, get rid of a train steward. And then merchant of steel. We'll probably upgrade. Make our horn. So steelworker horned warrior are gonna go and work together on the floor. 
Maybe I don't. Maybe I reroll. I don't think I want any of that. Rage 7. Now we're talking. Give him Rage 7 Endless. Or I could put Endless on the Titan Sentry and we could just set him up on the bottom floor. Maybe I am playing Rage. I'm gonna put the Rage of oh, the Endless on here. And then I, I wanna give I wanna give the I should have given the Titan Sentry health. That's a mistake. Alright, that's a that's a big whiff right there. Now floor four I have no real hypothesis on yet. I haven't spent much time on floor four. This seems to be clip guardian, clip conduit, like the clipped enemies. The first area is like disciples, now we're into the clipped, and then we got like the weird bird type ascended boys on the final round. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm start starting to catch on to the patterns anyway. Alright. Go with a little of this here. One damage? Oh, because the fledgling imp gets popped. Hang on. One damage? Oh, because that's not multi-strike. Okay. For some reason, I thought that this clipped warrior... Quil, Quill Marksman, excuse me, had multi-strike. That's a different enemy. Ah, shit. The collector's up here. What the hell? I can't believe this. I have been had. Collector, is there any way I'd kill this collector? Probably not. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping the collector would spawn third floor. Because setting up second floor is a little scary. No healing for our Titan Sentry. Hmm. Well, this Clip Defender doesn't matter. Save 7 damage if I do this. It's interesting uh, what the best way to go about these is. And then they have their healer, Clip Shaman. Interesting to try and figure out what the best way to go about these turns is. Because, like, it's, it's very minor. Everything should die when, we get to, when they get to the top 4, but the more health I can save on this shark, the better it is. I imagine this is going to be 6 rounds, right? This is round 4, maybe 5? I think this is round 4, though. We can sneak an imp in here. I still haven't drawn my totem, which is a big part of my damage output right now. Now we've got it. Ah shit. I've been I've been making a lot of those mistakes in my play as well, where I just accidentally target the wrong enemy. And this is six, yeah. But I've been I feel like I've been getting better overall at this game. I've been putting in the effort to try and learn and pick out patterns and make myself better at the game. So I feel like I've been, I should see some improvement on my end. And plus, and it's not like, I'm, the main reason I'm doing this, if you're wondering, is just because I'm like, I'm really, I really enjoy the game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And so I do feel compelled to try to figure out how to be, like what, what the best practices are and things like that. First I was just learning the bosses, but now I'm learning, trying to learn the enemy patterns, because learning, basically, if, the reason that you want to learn the enemy patterns is, if you, learning the enemy patterns is going to let you learn when you can take trials, which is going to be a big benefit. Always. I don't think there's ever a case where I wouldn't take Cuddle Hex. Inferno, I mean, shit, this is a spell weakness deck, actually. I, I think it's time to make the pivot. I've been offered too many good spell weakness cards. Do I not get this card back for two more floors? So I would get this back at the start of floor seven if I keep it with him? What does he have? Add a copy to your discard pile. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. I guess uh, show me what else you can give me here, dude. Add a copy to your discard pile, though. I don't think that's good considering I don't discard, but imagine if I could, like, remove ha everything except for... Like, get up to draw, like, six or seven cards, and then just have, like, Frenzied Swarm and six Titan's Tooths. Titan's Teeth. Let's go right here. We're gonna make some removals. I can't afford anything at the shop, unfortunately, but, you know. I'll keep the Train Stewards. I think we'll get rid of... a Frozen Lance or two. All right, there's not a whole lot for me to removal, other than spells right now. And we wanna we wanna get to relative consistency. And I've really I've been focusing more on becoming better at this game than I have being uh how do I put it? Like Like not and entertaining, I guess, where it's like I talk about other like with Atropolis, for example, I am to a point where I don't have to focus on that game at all and I'm able to just autopilot that game while I talk about whatever's on my mind. Monster Train, I'm approaching that point. However, I can't afford anything here. Instead of reaching that point and then just focusing on 
commentary, I'm going to focus on how much I hate the Crystal Cloak and wish it didn't exist. It's probably... Can I take Multi-Strike here, though? Probably not. I'm going to go with no. I need, I need ways to apply Spell Weakness, I guess. I don't know. I need to commit one way or the other, though, soon. So for this, we're going to set up our... Frostbite team up here, although putting Tethys on the top floor doesn't let me make any use of the spell weakness, so that was a mistake. Oh well. Uh, I could kill this collector if I Glacial Seal, right? Or, hang on, so we got one, two, three, three enemies here. I can, I can, I can kill this collector. Not that bad. Titan Sentry up here. It's fine. But no, instead of instead of just talking about other things, because I already have Retropolis to do that, so in this game I kind of want to just focus on becoming better and learning the game, figuring out how I'm going to be as good as I can. I think these are all six waves, and I think on the sixth wave we face the boss, and then I think Fel is eight, uh, Floor seven is eight, and then I think Seraph is maybe ten. That's going to be my hypothesis that we can try and check. However, I haven't been keeping much track for myself. Inferno that floor. This this guy's going to get away with a lot of damage on me here. Yeah, he's going to get to do quite a bit to me. And it's mainly because I, I went for Frostbite and then didn't get Frostbite on Tethys, which is rough. And it's all spell weakness, and now I need to make sure I play... Excuse me, I placed Tethys in the right place in the future. But also... Oh no, I, I did draw it, I just couldn't play it. That's right. Maybe it took a little damage. Brief rest, but okay. I'm starting to, starting to see the patterns here, I feel like, as well. Leaving these sycophants alive is actually probably better. In terms of... Damage taken overall. I think it's better to leave them living. The freeze building on this enemy here. And so I should delay the Crystal Cloak for enough time. They all. This is perfect, right? They all die. It's not quite perfect, we can make it a little better. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get the Frostbite started here. I want to leave the Sycophant alive for as long as I can. If I if I don't do anything here, you sneak through with a little. Where are you at? You're at 26. Off of th so you're at 13. You're at 18. 30. Okay, so attacking doesn't change the amount of damage I take here. Actually, we want to double strike like this then, because no matter what I if I attack there, she still gets up with one. We got our glacial seal up here. Did now, maybe it was, it was definitely not better to draw Inferno. We're getting some damage pushed through. Maybe it was better to put Train Steward on the top floor is what I was maybe going to say. I doubt it, though. Pop that guy, kill the Sycophant. This guy might just beat the shit out of me, though. Like, I might just be dead. The Stealth Boy might put me away. Oh yeah, I'm doing six damage here. <laughs> That's not a good sign, now is it? Uh, hmm... No, I would say that's a bad sign. And this this is going to be a defeat based solely on my poor use of positioning, right? I should have put Tethys set up on a different floor so that we could make use of the spell weakness here. Imagine if I had like four spell weakness on this guy and then I just popped him with Inferno, right? This is a this is a fight that I could have won, but I never play with a spell weakness Tethys. Like I never choose this. Cuz I don't like it. And we get 27 damage. No, I... The stealth enemy bodies me, though, I think, most case. I, no, I could have gotten out of it. We'll do another run here. Try it again. I hope that... Can I get the... Can I get the... Do they not have the... Restart with same set... Same random clan? I guess not. So we'll do Stygian Hellhorned again. I'm not gonna random random. There's the option if you're in... Uh... Like, in the menu, you can restart with the same clan. So in the, maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know. Offering token, fortify, preserve. This is a great start for cards. Like all of those cards are really good. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna try to build around spell weakness this time, since I didn't get offered it. Oh, 50% chance to apply spell weakness when an enemy unit enters your train. Cool. 
we're gonna we're gonna aim for this and we'll see if i can make this work this time right so like this this setup chains the sighted disciple protector discipled foot soldier i'm pretty sure i can tell you with certainty i think the first four will be a disciple protector and a foot soldier maybe a priest if there's a priest in the pool i think it might be a priest no it's got to be a foot soldier because why would it be a priest yeah then the second one will be protector and either two foot soldiers or a priest i'm not sure how to tell if there's a priest in the pool yet and we're gonna want to put Tathis down here. May as well hit this guy. Like, there's no reason not to. Oh wait, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Okay, so actually, what you see on the main screen doesn't matter at all, huh? Because like this guy was not anywhere on the main screen, and yet here he is. That's wild. I didn't expect that at all. Never mind. I still got more to learn. It looks like. So much more to take in as it turns out on this first combat here i was thinking i was starting to figure out the patterns i was able to piece it all together no 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 oh no 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 so pop you for 18 just in case i don't kill this guy this round which i don't of course i don't because i'm going to have to pop him with a big spell weakness shot Mm-hmm. oh i am taking two which is acceptable May as well freeze this frozen lance. Now it really is a frozen lance. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to do a lot of damage here. Right. It's only... It's 42. A way to contrition. Maybe I'm going to eat another 5 here. But it's not that bad, right? Eight, eight, walking out of this, obviously I want to walk out with 0. But, you know. Walking out of it with... 12 damage taken isn't run ending now ideally you want to walk away with 12 damage and taking money but you know you can't always get what you want now can you unfortunately sometimes it just plays out that way and maybe i should have set up on a different floor but i mean it felt right to make sure i set up in a place where i could take advantage of the spell weakness however i don't know go to the right here maybe we can get uh the spell weakness sweep lady hmm. i think guard of the unnamed here over titan sentry since we're trying spell weakness i don't know titan sentry doesn't seem right for spell weakness um, feel free to take a shot every time I say spell weakness, if you survive. I'm gonna make Crypt Builder for uh, one less. Not free. Make a great case for adding in a reroll and looking for bonus damage on Torch. Having a targeted damage spell at this point seems good. However, ideally we don't have to rely on Torch. Oh god. Ugh. High Priest of the Light? That's not great. Good side of High Priest of the Light is that it is 180 health only, which means a good Crypt Breaker will just, or Crypt Builder will just kill you. Definitely not going to take Invasion. So this enemy that's spawning here, the Reconciler, is like a 50-50 like a unit, right? I think this is what I would consider a support unit here. I'm going to build you a Crypt. Now, there is a chance I don't kill this thing. These, these seem to... I, I'm starting I'm starting to kind of look at this in terms of, like, floors, if you will. Or, like, sections, I guess is what I want to say. Or the way that the game is divvied up. Like, right now we're in section 1, which ends after Daedalus, and then section 2 is after... Uh, what's her name? Fel. That's the end of section 2, and then section 3 is after... Or sec section 3 is just the last section, is what I mean to say. Out there. Brain no longer broke. Do this. 30 damage, and I just have I have two floors to draw my Crypt Builder and put this guy away. Yeah, and we'll wait. Oh, I should have I thrown something top 4. I didn't even recognize that you know was walking on. I was busy thinking about the boss. He did only take 3, but that is plenty. As long as I don't draw garbage. Get five extra damage in there. I have a five and twelve. Draw Crypt Builder. Okay, I didn't draw Crypt Builder, but I drew this Frozen Lance, which is, you know, upgraded for this effect. But I'm still getting hit. Like, I'm taking a lot of chip damage here that I would prefer to have not taken. Like, holy moly, we've taken so much damage already. And it's not like I've been skipping out on cards. I've been taking things. Ice Tornado, 20 damage three times. I mean, Crypt Builder is better, right? But maybe I need more. Like, I need more finishing moves, probably. Don't hate Tiresome Climb. 
I've had a lot of good stuff with this, but it does need upgrades. Oh no, I feel like the the main problem and the reason that I thought Stygian was bad when I first played them is because of Tethys into like these first two fights when you get spell weakness sweep, right? This Tethys isn't good. I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna take the healing and the artifact. I think a spell deals two damage to a random enemy on that floor. That sounds great. I don't think Tethys is great. I'll say it. I think that Tethys is a weaker hero, but Stygian makes up for it by having some very incredible uh, spells and support powers and just a lot of good stuff in general. Uh, give me a rare Umbra. I could get Eternally Consumed, which would be great. Forever Consumed? That's what I was thinking of, sorry. 30x with Spell Weakness. That's like, you know, too bad I didn't take the energy carries over now, right? But still, that's 90 times whatever the spell weakness is at. It just seems like it's a good idea to have more options for uh, like like big damaging spells to hit when I have spell weakness applied. Because I don't actually have a way to apply spell weakness that isn't Tethys. No, that's not true. I have this. Tethys is scales. Uh, do I want to leave you guys here? How do I want to go about this one? Again, I feel like I should be playing spell weakness on this floor, but... I think we can get with it. I have two frozen lances to make my shark not die here. Oh, that's right, we have the random token of a traitor cast. I gotta remember that. Yeah, okay. It's not as bad as it may have looked. It's actually pretty clean, all things considered here. We're gonna we're gonna have trouble if I can't like if she gets protect no bombs go behind enemies, never mind. No troubles. Well damage. We'll pop this down here. Throw a train steward. I only need one X here. And this card doesn't consume. So yeah, the more spell weakness we can apply, the better off we are. And okay, it seems like the explosives explode twice version of Daedalus always spawns with conduit inf infiltrators, the flat, the uh, the haste units. This is not necessarily confirmed, confirmed, but like I'm pretty sure at this point with the number of times I've seen this combo. 12, so we play this one out like this, put the train steward here, and preserve my crit builder, and I can pop her. It's not, a, not looking like it's a too bad of a fight here. They're offering token, oh wow, we're, oh no, I thought, I thought I was way lower on cards than I was, never mind, my mistake. Thought I was thought I was like almost out of cards because I looked over and I saw zero and then I played that card and I looked over my discard pile and I saw zero and I went, whoa, wait, we're out of cards? Holy shit. I got more removals in than I thought. Oh, ice tornadoes here. Actually, no, I could I could have frozen lands maybe. Oh well. Final wave time. We're going to let Tethys get as much data as damage in here as we can. I wonder if this counts as spell damage for the purposes of the spell weakness. I guess we'll try it, we'll find out, right? You're at, you're at 28. I wanna, I wanna try and build up as much. So let's, let's, let's look at it, right? How much spell weakness am I going to apply here? Because the more I can get on there, the better. I mean, we just play it out like this, right? We get the, oh, I should have thrown the train steward down. That would have saved me an extra turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a slight mistake. I missed one extra spell weakness for that. But it is, it's seven. Seven times... yeah. It's enough, but I could have been slightly more efficient if I had thrown the train steward down to tank a hit. Just for a guard, draw three spells, enhance them with consume, plus 20 magic power, and zero cost. This doesn't seem terrible. I've never taken it, but it doesn't seem bad for just like I, I need a... I need a kill spell here. And then Icy Silophyte, which once again surprises me that the one the one with Icy in the name doesn't uh, do Frostbite on attack. I'm going to take draw plus one here. Because we got Shark, Silophyte, Tethys on our bottom floor. We're going to go... We need to, we need to upgrade magic, so this is the right path here for sure. Give me sweep two, please. Not bad. You can make a case for Conduit, but I've never really thought Conduit was very good. I think it's okay at best. And Train Steward I don't mind hanging on to because Train Steward gets played and killed off. Just start to remove these spells. 
Merchant of Magic. Consume, remove, consume, and cast plus one. Cast plus one? Cost plus one? Cast plus one? Suddenly I'm from Brooklyn. I'm not from Brooklyn, if you were wondering. Make this card like a... Oh no, it, it, sorry, this doesn't apply on the X. Make this card... No, no, no. Uh, we're gonna throw Consume onto a Frozen Lance here, and then I'll just purge. I like to try and buy like maybe one purge per shop that I go to, at least in the early game, just to make it a little more uh, efficient. I don't think we're taking any of this. It's all We're all in on these spells. Spell weakness is the way to go here. I would like to get some ways to apply spell weakness next. Higher Light Master, Light Harnesser. These guys are interesting because you definitely want to sign up against them on the first floor. And I will take this multi-attack because this guy, the Light Harnesser over here is going to be a 2 attack. So it's going to be 2 times 2 which should be manageable. I hope. He's probably going to spawn with something else, probably like the 7-2 if I were to take a guess. But for the most part, it should just be this goon. What an incredible starting hand here. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and we'll get rid of Torch here. Okay, this gets popped. Now, if he makes it to the top... Oh, they, their extra is a priest. A trusted priest, of course, of course. That's fine. Spell weakness here. We got, we're getting pretty good on the spell weakness, I gotta say. And just pop both of these guys with spells. Interestingly enough, and then just do right here. Feeling alright. Like, I think this is probably the best case for multi-attack on the enemies. These enemies are really easy to deal with when they have multi-attack. Because they start out so weak. And, like, these defenders aren't going to gain anything from multi-attack. Like, no big deal. Okay. okay, and that doesn't trigger spell weakness. I didn't think it did. Guard? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Two torches here for free. Extremely helpful. Let me pop these boys. And what I could do here, and I think I will... Well, no, I'll just, I'll just hold on to this tiresome climb. I was thinking about tiresome climbing the defender away. But I don't think I need to. And then this should be brief respite. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. You know, I'm starting to starting to piece it together. I feel like just piece a little by little. I'm starting to piece it together. Feels good. Whoa, nice. The spell weakness is looking pretty sweet. I gotta say, it's going pretty well here. All right now, this is where I want to tire some climb. Send you away. Although it doesn't make much of a difference now that I think about it. It's still fine. Our best case here is this draws me permafrost card. Never mind. 30 plus 20. I need, I'm looking, I'm fishing. I'm fishing for it. Didn't catch it. But I was fishing for it. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, splitting these guys up has to be correct because this way uh, I don't risk hitting the Pyrolite Master. Or hitting, hitting his defender when I mean to hit the Pyrolite Master. Wow, I put fucking 29 spell weakness on this guy. Holy moly. Quit wasting my time. Oh my god, I'm gonna, do you have any idea how mad I'm gonna be if I miss here? It's, it's almost impossible for me. It, it is impossible for me to miss here. Even if I draw the worst possible... Like, there's, there's no way. He's dead for sure. It is impossible. You don't do damage, right? Yeah, okay. And so we're gonna get a free artifact out of this. Took no extra damage. All right. Uh, ice tornado, crypt builder. I kind of get like my choice here. I think I'll go ahead and hit him with the frozen lance. Yeah, 1,080. I should have hit him with the crypt builder just to see what that would do. Is this? This is extra. Uh, yeah, units gain an extra upgrade slot. Sure. Maybe I can give multi attack on Cold Kalia. Cuddle hex, hell yeah. And. I really- I don't hate Imp in a box. I also don't hate Pyre Chomper since I took Herschel's Compound. Plus one draw. I'm gonna skip it. I don't think I should need either of those. Like, Imp in a box is okay. But I, I gave the- I gave that guy- yeah, I gave him my spell in the last run. That wasn't this run. I'm fine. Mentally, I'm okay. I'm, I'm on top of things. 
Oh, we want to go Merchant of Steel here. I want to fish for multi-strike, please. Mm -hmm. I will look for it. I mean, it's not terrible because we get a little... Oh, you're not cool, Kaylee. Your ice still will fight. I get you guys mixed up all the time. Like, worthless. But an extra 50 health onto our guard is good. I might... I think I might have space to make... No, I don't have space to make him bigger. We're 2-2-1. Two, two, Let's go. Fire remain. Let's see what's in the caverns here. No, I should be going in the cavern sooner, right? But this is fine. Uh, Trapdoors probably are the way to go here. I've I've taken the hook once or twice, and it's okay. But I, I prefer I would I like the hook more when I have a run that has ways to make the pyre do more damage, right? That's my hot take. I don't have great answers to how do I make the pyre do more damage, and by great answers I mean I have no answers. So, like, maybe if I had taken Boon of the Blacksmith, but again, that might be last run. They're all the same. Ah, shit. Ah. Sweep. That's rough. Uh, we're gonna need to probably set up second floor here. Well, second floor gives me less time to finish him off. But I'm thinking maybe second floor just to try and give me more time to get Ethis tanked up here. Train steward in front. Actually, no. Train steward top four, just in case I don't draw well enough to get the kill on a imp that spawns up there. Imp spawn middle floor. So we have torch. Thank this. This uh, this Tethys of scales has saved me so many imps. Or has saved me from losing so many imps. I want to close that one. Your harvest. I do wish to just prefer preserve tires and climb. Pop that guy. This overcharge tank is going to walk on through unless I draw a way to stop him. But I should draw a way to stop him, right? Like, that's the whole deck. I have lots of ways to stop enemies. Probably one of the most important things right there, right? Make sure I'm playing these offering tokens in the right room. Just because there's no reason for me not to get the extra free six armor on this guard of the unnamed. Okay. Forever consumed will kill him at 60. I can play Cuddle Hex up here. We'll kill him at 30. It'll do 90, right? Three times damage from the next spell. Yeah, so it'll do 90 if I play it at uh, X, where X equals 2. However, maybe I should trap shoot him. Instead. That way I can, what? Nah, there's no reason to do that. I should just forever consume him. 180. It was 90 or 180 damage there. And that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and we need to just keep playing armor to Tethys for the boss. And then probably I'll want to put some to Icy Silophite as well. Ice Tornado up here? Uh, maybe I should aim Gifts for a Guard. But what Gifts for a Guard is going to draw me probably not what I want here. Not necessarily sure. Will this fight redeem me? No. Next question. I'm gonna crypt build because this lets me get a train steward out, right? We want to get down to a bit of consistency now is my next big goal, I imagine. All right. Now I kind of want to aim gifts for a guard. Let's put two on Tethys here. Actually, how much does this boss do? I think I have it written down. Life steal sweep. He does. He's a six one seventy. No. That's high priest to the light, right? That's the four two enemy. I still sweep. I really didn't write down his attack, and I think I think he does thirteen. Eight and fifteen is twenty-three. I'll give I'll give Tethys because this takes Tethys up to another round. Now, I kind of want to. I think I should gifts for a guard here. Because yeah, ideally it hits preserve. Thankfully it did. Offering token consumes. No big deal. I wanted to preserve so I could preserve this forever. Consumed for the next turn. In 46. Okay, we can take zero here. Oh, he's nine. Nine, seven, seventy. Let me write that down. There we go. So he's gonna take. He's not. It looks like he's not taking much damage, but he's gonna take a lot of spell weakness. And that's all we want. 
Ice Tornado kills them both, right? Like, it, it, I think there's no way it doesn't. Yeah, because it, it always one-shots that unit. And despite him surviving with seven, like, oh wait, he lives. Wait a minute. Let's do. Whoever consumed does 90. Huh, interesting. So I guess what we're going to do here is we're going to... This, how much does he survive by here? This is my most damage. This is max damage, I'm pretty sure. I guess the way we want to play this out is we want to play it out so that... Oh wait, we build first? No, crit builder first would hurt me in damage, wouldn't it? My plan here is to drop him low and then just remove everything except for... So basically I'm just going to freeze a way to kill him here, you see? That's the play. Here we go. This is a really fun deck. I'm really liking Spell Weakness. It's it's a thinker, but like it's fun. It's a fun thinker. Guardian Stone wouldn't be bad if I had the space for it. Frenzied Swarm. I, not sh I'm not sure I'll ever pass Frenzied Swarm. It's just so good. I'll skip that. I really need to get some more removals rolling though here. I've been taking a lot of removals, but there's just I'm being overwhelmed. So right, we're fishing for fishing for double strike on Cold Kalia. Not Cold Kalia, sorry, Icy Silophyte. That's good. And then I wouldn't mind giving her plus one attack. Or sorry, pl like plus 25 health, I mean. See what the event is before I spend anything else, though. What are you? Ah, uh, this is the Merchant event. Get a random card from these classes. Take Stygian Guard first. Crystalline Seeds. Nah. Alright, and there's like a chance that that one doesn't collapse and end the event. Like, depending on how lucky you are, you might get multiples out of that. That's fine. Uh, we'll take another peek over here. I don't hate plus one armor on the shark every time I cast a spell. However, no, I'm gonna take this because I'm not gonna fish around too much. Rage seven on the cold, or icy silophyte. I'm never gonna get them not mixed up. Oh, is this? This is spell shield and armor uh, fell, isn't it? And is it Seraph the Chaste? It's Seraph the. Di oh my God, it's Seraph the Diligent. <laughs> oh dear. Very anti-spell bosses, although it's not so bad. Mm, take a sip of water here. One moment, please. But yeah, basically, to conclude on the my future with this game, I'm gonna play it a lot, and I will have my like my learnings published somewhere at some point in the future. I swear. It's gonna take a while to punch through this thing, but also spell weakness goes through. There's nothing that has sweep here, so I just want to pump up our shark as much as I can. And we, we gifts for a guard, may as well. Cause yeah, so so it's good on crit builder because this crit builder will never be consumed. This is just free damage. It's bad though because crit builder will never hit an enemy that means anything. Uh, it might when we punch through eventually. I uh, will frenzied swarm here. Oh wait, it does. Con oh, it counts as played when it plays off the offering. I didn't know that. Important lesson I just learned there. I've been so wrong this whole time. This regard is a really interesting card. I like it a lot. Keep burning these cards out. Eventually, we punch through this alabaster guardian, and things aren't so terrible. I may as well, by the way, freeze this torch. There is no reason not to, and it stops it from reshuffling, which is beneficial. Missed some free armor on my shark, though. Fortify goes here. I can train steward to help body block. Uh, do I want to drop you? I think I do want to drop you. I think this is damage I have no reason to take. However, I do have a reason to take it, and that reason is that I'm not sure I'll ever not take it. Right? These spell shields are ruining me here. Let's try and steward it away. Won't freeze dead weight no matter what. Which I guess is good, I don't know. This is, the, this is not the consume offering. I don't want to have everything consume. But like, if this ice tornado hits Alabaster Guardian more than once, I'm mad. Nice, that's probably, that's probably ideal. I mean, that is more or less ideal. I'm gonna still get hit a little bit by this clipped reflector, but... Eh. This is like a super anti-spell setup for Fel here. 
and I'm all spells. Like she's count she's stopping me from picking off these marksmen. This is nuts. Like she's so perfectly set up to ruin me. It's crazy. I'm gonna eat so much damage here and there's nothing I can do about it, right? Because of these alabaster guardians, it's insane. It's actually so nuts. Offering token, give me an out here. That's not an out. We're not gonna forever consumed because of the guardians. Brain Steward, probably here. Yeah, save my cuddle hex. He lives one more round, we get one more save off of him. Maybe I should just try to punch through these alabaster guardians, but like, it doesn't feel right. What's the- god damn. Like, maybe, maybe I should be trying to force through. I've never played a spell deck like this before. Crypt, Crypt Reflectors, those freaking strong. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try and punch through this one, right? Because we're gonna put a bunch of- what's gonna happen if I'm not careful here is I'm going to put a bunch of spell weakness onto Fel, and then she's just gonna ascend and walk right over me. And there's not gonna be anything I can do about it. Because like, all of the Alabaster Guardians are gonna be sitting there with spell weakness on. That's a lot of damage. God, Fel. What a hoe. Too bad you can't, like, trigger it with... E like easy spells. I think I'm just gonna die actually to this. Like this is this hard counters me. Without a doubt in my mind, this is just a hard counter. And there's not a ton I can do about it. Please, the animation. Thank you. So you're going up. I think I wanna send up this clipped guardian. I mean shit, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I think I I think I do need to ascend you. Stunned. For two rounds, I'll take eight from you. An ice tornado? Unfortunately, that cost me my ice tornado, but like, you know, desperate times and such. Does this count for a clearing spell shield, I wonder? It does not. I take eight there. I might have been able to kill that guy, by the way, without taking the damage. Does this overcharged tank kill me? He might. Yeah, can I just kill Fel? Wait. Did I just win? Not quite. I need to survive... this round... somehow. Right? I need to live this round and then be able to kill Fel, which I, like, I can do if I live here. So let's just see if I live here first. This is... This guy gains 10 armor, so he's at 90 if I let him go up, like, as is. So I take... Seven, and then I take three from this guy here. If I torch you, I can maybe kill you. No? No. I think I'm dead. Right? I think that there's no way to not be dead here. Because... This is seven, and this guy does 18 to me. Right? No, he does... He does 24 to me. But he, the only way for me to live through this is if I kill this marksman and then do like 10 damage to the overcharged tank, which I think is impossible because of these alabaster guardians. So I think it's over. I think that there's no out. I think I just got hard countered by Fel. Right? Otherwise we would be fine. Well, no, we wouldn't be fine. I would need to I'm, so, the, what I need to do on this floor is I need to stop these guys from killing me. I need to break this Alabaster Guardian as well. And I think I can't do both of these. I think we're done. Oh no, there was a path, right? If I, if I didn't have both of those hit here, I could have killed this guy and then maybe survived. Nope. Both of my uh, tokens of a traitor hit the Alabaster Guardian, though. Random enemy unit. There we go. I still it was yeah he's at a hundred so he hits me four times unfortunately but you know may as well play it to my as much as I play it out as well as I can here I think yeah he just kills me that's nuts like I've the the first time in like I think my entire life I've tried to go spell weakness and I go against fell with the alabaster guardians with spell shield uh, an otherwise worthless effect against me that just fucking ruins me. That's nuts, like, god damn. And that, it's kind of like, 
This feels bad, you know? I don't necessarily feel like I did anything wrong there. I just rolled the wrong version of Fel and couldn't do any damage. And like, I could have looked and planned ahead, but like, you know, come on. Whatever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.